Hello everybody, my name is Danny Cottle. I'm working on a project to post a thousand musical videos to social media and we are creeping up to post 500, almost uh, halfway done with our project uh, to post a thousand musical videos to social media and it has gone by like that but uh, it's been fun. So this uh, post is going uh, to be three reasons why simple songs are awesome okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Simple Man by Leonard Skinner it's a simple song um, so three reasons why simple songs are easy first reason is that they're easy to learn right meaning the chords Simple Man is C G and A minor that's it so you can see my fingers don't even move really when I play those, when I go through those chords. C, I just bring these two fingers up to the G, and I, I avoid the high E string. I play the A minor, okay? It's easy to learn. These chords are simple. And, um, which means that they're easy to do. A, okay, so transposing, for example, is if you, you don't know what you don't know, right? And so transposing is a simple process, but it it's just a compl complicated way of doing something easy, okay? And so let me show you. If uh, we have it, because guitar works in a pattern, right? So we have, let's just say that we're gonna go, we're gonna play this right here, okay? There's a C, G, and an A minor. C, G, and an A minor. So check this out. C, G, and an A minor. I'm playing an E major or a E major pattern on the eighth fret. That's a C chord, and then I'm playing the A7 pattern on the uh, tenth fret for my G7 chord, and then that's my A minor pattern. Um, on the 12th fret uh, bar for my A minor chord. But okay, so if we use that pattern, which is common, okay, it's also one, five, six chord, then we can do that anywhere. So we go, be a simple kind of man, right? Then we can transpose that anywhere. So let's just start on the fifth fret. Be, be. Simple kind of man. So with um, <laughs> with the keys, um, you have to get oriented. Your your ear has to get oriented with the melody. So let's go to the second fret. Be a simple kind of man. Be something you love and understand. All right. So let's go to the twelfth. Uh, let's go to the 10th fret. Be, be a simple kind of man. Okay, so easy songs are easy to do these things with, right? Um, I can transpose really easy like that once I get those the basic concepts down. Um, so if you have any questions about that, let me know. Comment down below. Um, we're going to go to number two. Um, it's challenging to spice things up. And so we all like a challenge, and with simple songs, that's why we don't, that's why there's like, well, it's simple, or you want to stay away from it. Okay, so take that and do something with it. Add some, add some other parts to it, um, or spice it up rhythmically or something. So if we have C, G, A minor, so there's a little walk-up, and some picking. So you can add little, uh, add you into it, right? Add that, add what, where you're going in your journey and everything you've gone, where you've come from, add it to the simple stuff, right? Um, there's a little riff in here that goes like this. Okay, 
so you can add things like that in inside of uh, these uh, simple songs and again it allows it to have character it allows it to have dynamics and all of the really uh, uh, interesting things that we like to hear in music right and uh, and so it's a challenge to spice up these simple songs. So, for example, I'll do a verse and I'll show you what, what I mean. So, um, I'll do the chorus. Be a simple kind of man. Be something you love and understand. And now we can let it breathe right here. Okay, so because the song is just those three chords that go over and over and over, um, uh, you can start predicting where the strong beat is coming in. And that um, playing with that is um, is a challenging way to spice up the song as well. So it's it's easy to it's easy to challenge. Um, let me get the lyrics up here. It's easy to to throw some challenging elements into this uh, song. Okay. So th the third reason why uh, learning easy songs are awesome is because it's a fun, productive process. Okay. Um, the more that you learn these songs, you can check out the form, you can check out the chord progression, you can check out the riffs, uh, the melody that goes on top of that, and, um, and this, the process is fun, you know, and you can continue to challenge yourself in little ways, I continue to challenge myself in little ways, and so when I play a simple song like this, I can bring out as much, uh, emotion and energy out of it as I can. And even if it's just simple, right, like, that's the beauty of it. And that's, I'm going to play right now. I'm going to play the first couple verses. I'm still learning the, the lyrics of the song. And so um, I figured I would throw this out there while I'm doing it, um, doing a lot of musical stuff. But here we go. Mama told me. I was young and sit beside me my only son and listen closely to what I say and if you do this it'll help you some sunny day now we're gonna let it breathe right here Take your time, don't live too fast, when troubles come, and they will pass, go find a woman, and you'll find love, and don't forget someone, there's someone up above and be a simple kind of man be something you love and understand and be a simple kind of man well can't you do this for me, son, if you can.
so yeah. right so just have fun with the whole process um and learn all those easy songs and uh i don't know like don't be intimidated by transposition and uh new chords and you know things like that there's um if it helps there's only five major chords that you have to learn they spell out the the word caged okay and so if you're working on the guitar c a g e d you can connect those like legos the pattern c pattern there's your a pattern your g pattern e pattern and your d pattern and um and oh I'm just going off on a tangent right there. So keep these, keep the video simple, huh? And keep the song simple. And these are three reasons why I think that awesome, uh, that easy songs are awesome. All right. So hopefully you guys get something out of this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.